Who doesn't love a manly actor? And nothing is more manly than a thick mustache. In this week's video, I'm counting down 10 celebrities from the 70s and 80s with the best mustaches. Follow the yellow brick road. Best known as the original Leatherman from the pop disco group The Village People, he has always shown an interest in motorbikes from a young age. And as an adult, he even kept his motorbike parked inside his house. Now that is true love right there. He worked as a toll collector at the Brooklyn Battery Tunnel when he responded to an advert seeking macho singers and dancers for a new group being formed. Get rid of these chains, the last year's chains. But they still have a lot of mileage left in them. With his biker look and thick mustache, he joined the group and made the character his own, spending more than two decades in the village people before retiring from the band in 1996. Did you know that he was chosen as one of People magazine's most beautiful people in the world in 1979? Danny Trejo is someone who is not ashamed of his past. He did his first drug deal at the age of seven and was arrested for the first time when he was 10. But everyone deserves a second chance, right? Homeless, eating out of garbage cans. From being incarcerated to becoming an actor, the road to success wasn't easy for Danny Trejo. He made his acting debut in the 1985 thriller Runaway Train, and following his acting debut in this movie, Trejo was typecast as a prisoner for similar roles for years to follow. With over 250 film and TV credits to his name, Danny Trejo is definitely one of the hardest working actors in Hollywood, and only achieved leading man status in the mid-2010s. But that doesn't matter. He had several notable roles in the 80s, and his iconic mustache came along for the ride. Al Linden began his career as a musician and singer in the 1950s. In 1974, he landed his best known role as the title character in the television comedy series Barney Miller, a role that earned him seven Primetime Emmy nominations and three Golden Globe Award nominations. In the 1970s and 80s, he predominantly made appearances in made-for-TV movies as well as guest spots on TV shows like The Golden Girls. Something only hardcore fans know is that in 1984, he carried the Olympic torch and ran a portion of the Los Angeles segment, and that he worked as a voiceover artist, doing voiceovers for foreign movies including several Godzilla movies. What did he do? It's a secret. What do I get if I find out? Kill. <laughs> Best known for appearing in movies like the American Ninja series and Delta Force, Steve James was an American actor, stunt performer and martial artist. He began his career as a stuntman in the 70s for movies like The Wiz and The Land That Time Forgot. He was most often cast as a sidekick to a lead character in action movies and as a supporting character in serious dramas and comedies, but never really as a leading man. Which is such a shame, because he had all the qualities of a leading man, especially that mustache of his. I think it's safe to say everybody knows who Freddie Mercury is, the legendary Queen frontman with the iconic mustache. Regarded as one of the greatest singers in the history of rock music, he was known for his flamboyant stage persona and four octave vocal range. Although he showcased a flamboyant stage personality, Mercury was shy and reclusive when not performing, particularly around people he didn't know well. Despite what music you like, I think most people can agree that he was a legend in his own right. His iconic onstage persona and one-of-a-kind mustache inspired countless characters and Halloween outfits. When I personally think of the 70s and 80s, Freddie Mercury is one of the first men that comes to mind. Did you know I have a second channel? That's right, my second channel consists of original content, as well as me exploring the area that I live in, as well as some dad jokes. Ever wondered why golfers carry two pairs of pants? It's in case they get a hole in one. So what are you waiting for? Go on, check out my second channel. A link to that channel is in the description of this video. Another person that comes to mind when I think of the 1980s is Hulk Hogan, who is widely regarded as the most popular wrestler of the 1980s, as well as one of the greatest professional wrestlers of all time. He received worldwide recognition when he signed with the WWF, now WWE, and quickly became a fan favorite. His match with Andre the Giant on February the 5th, 1988 still holds American television viewership records for wrestling, with 33 million viewers. Though his acting career isn't a mile long, he appeared in several movies and TV shows from the 1980s and 90s. 
solidifying his place in pop culture thanks to his popularity as a wrestler and his iconic handlebar mustache that made him stand out from the rest of the wrestlers. Burt Reynolds was once considered a sex symbol and an icon of 1970s American popular culture. And who could blame Americans for falling madly in love with this manly man? During the height of his career, he always embodied an uncomplicated, undiluted, effortlessly likable strain of American masculinity that was driven much more by sunny mischief than typical Hollywood male behavior. And if this didn't already make him the ultimate hunk in many people's eyes, he also released a country album in 1973. Women wanted him and men wanted to be him. And Cosmopolitan took full advantage of this phenomenon and made him pose almost nude in a centerfold for a 1972 issue. People couldn't get enough of this strikingly handsome man with a mustache and he was even inducted into the International Mustache Hall of Fame in 2015 in the category Film and Television. Buddy, you know, I saw four guys uh, being, uh, I guess they were critics. I don't know who critics are today other than, are Cisco and Abel st still alive? Are they alive? <laughs> With over 100 films and television roles in a career that spans over six decades, Billy Dee Williams is best known for portraying Lando Carlisian in the Star Wars franchise. He started his acting career as an adult by appearing in Broadway shows, starting with The Cool World in 1960. He rose to prominence in 1971 when he appeared in a critically acclaimed made-for-TV movie, Brian Song. He was inducted into the International Mustache Hall of Fame in 2015 in the category Film and Television and as a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. He was an accomplished art student before his acting career began and in the late 80s he resumed painting, devoting much of his time to this work. Staying sexy is an all-day job. And for some of us, the end of the day is just the beginning. Sam Elliott made his acting debut in 1969 in the TV series Judd for Defense and even back then, viewers craved to see more of this man with a mustache, distinctive voice and manly appearance. He was named one of the 12 promising new actors of 1976 in John Willis's Screen World Volume 28 back in 1976. Elliot was inducted into the International Mustache Hall of Fame in 2015 and it's easy to see why he is beloved not only for his acting but the mustache as well. And that, uh, there's a lot of similarities in Gar and one of these, and this guy in the Yellow Rose or mm -hmm. these other characters, but bikers and cowboys have a lot, a lot of similarities. The 1970s and 80s were the decades for mustaches and nobody rocked a mustache better than the one, the only, Tom Selleck. His breakout role was playing private investigator Thomas Magnum in the 1980s television series Magnum P.I., a role for which he was nominated seven times for a Golden Globe Award and won twice. Another inductee of the International Mustache Hall of Fame, this actor's career spans an impressive 59 years and it just gets better with age. He was chosen by People magazine as one of the 50 most beautiful people in the world back in 1998 and he was also the first celebrity guest to appear on the talk show The View back in 1997. I had no choice. No choice. Quick bonus for you. After his time as James Bond, legendary actor Sean Connery donned a mustache in several movies. Where would you place him on this list? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. Is there anyone that you feel that I left out of this list or is there anybody that you feel that should not be on this list? Let me know in the comments. You can also check out a similar video to this one by clicking on this link or for something else yet equally entertaining, click on this link.